Hi, my name is Elon Osborne, and I am late to the party when it comes to Fury on 4K Blu-ray. So let's talk about it. So yeah, Best Buy was having a really good Black Friday sale on physical media, and I picked this up uh, because I knew I wanted to own it at some point because it had been recommended to me several times when people were talking about demo-worthy movies when it comes to audio. So yeah, this is mainly a commentary on the movie's audio aspects. I'm not gonna talk about the plot or anything. The visuals were fine. It is in 4K and uh, they were nice and crispy, but um, it is a very monochromatic, dark movie. So not a whole lot to say there. But speaking of the audio, Clearly, when you have a war movie, you're going to have really good sound design and really good sound mixing because of all the various bullets whizzing by your head, ricocheting off things, bullets slamming into bricks and mortar and metal. But one thing that makes Fury stand apart from other war movies is that we're dealing with tanks. Honestly, not a lot of war movies deal with tanks. So the fact that we get to follow a, a tank pretty much the entire movie and just see the drama that unfolds surrounding this particular tank and these group of people manning the tank. That was a very unique perspective on war. But also, it's obvious that when we're dealing with tanks, we're going to be dealing with a subwoofer workout. And this is exactly that. <laughs> but it's not just boomy explosions. I mean, there are explosions from time to time and they sounded great, really shook my room for sure. But since we're dealing with tanks and we're dealing with artillery that is just massive, it's not the kind of bass that is going to be super boomy, you know, or very sub bassy, like in the first John Wick when he kills that dude in the bathroom and you can hear music playing in the adjacent room. No, you're going to get quick, aggressive, loud, chest thumping bass from those tanks firing their gigantic shells. Now, I haven't seen any behind the scenes of Fury yet. I, I believe there is some bonus materials on the disc itself, but I imagine you can't really create tank blasts out of nowhere or just in a computer, right? I imagine they probably recorded actual tanks firing. Now, I know there was probably some sound effects added to those tank blasts, just because that's how sound design works. You're kind of layering a bunch of sounds on top of each other to really sell the moment. But man, there's a reason people were recommending this particular movie when it comes to subwoofer workouts. Again, not because it's gonna dive way deep down low sub bass frequencies, but it's just gonna pound you right in the chest. And that's exactly what it did. But beyond that, yeah, the, the dialogue was crystal clear. Even when we're dealing with scenes outside versus inside the tank versus in a house, etc. You're also dealing with lots of clothing, different kinds of weapons slung over shoulders and clanking on people when they're running, different kinds of weapons being fired, lots of really good foley in the mix with all the different fabrics and boots on the ground, and boots in the mud, and things like that. And you know, it's not wall to wall action all the time. There are some slower moments and heartfelt moments and scenes that really show the human side of war and some of the messed up things that people do just to survive. But yes, I know I'm late to the party and I know it was recommended to me. And now I am recommending it to you if you haven't seen it or if you don't own it yet. It is definitely subwoofer demo worthy. So go get it now. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies like Fury on 4K Blu-ray, experience them. And of course, always be listening.